the Group Technical Training Academy, the complete solution for your training needs. Technicians can learn from leading instructors on trends, issues, and technology. The Group's comprehensive training program will provide information that will sharpen your skills. Okay, we've discussed uh, the EGR operation, and one of the things we're going to go ahead and do now is uh, we're going to inspect the EGR. Upon inspecting the EGR, what we're looking for is carbon, and that carbon buildup can lead to sticky EGR, which will lead to EGR codes as well. Now, like I said already earlier, uh, please note that uh, inspecting the EGR, the carbon on it will also be a telltale of what's going on in the VGT turbocharger. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that EGR. Now, while I'm removing the EGR, obviously the connector needs to come off, uh, being gentle with it, and also take off the two 8mm bolts. Now, depending on the application, uh, the EGR is not always easy to remove because due to the excessive carbon buildup. Now, Ford Motor Company does recommend the use of a EGR removal tool. The secret is that that EGR come out straight. Now we often have used a pry bar with a hook on the end to actually twist the EGR and pull the EGR up evenly. You can use two of them two at the same time to pull up straight the EGR and upon doing that again the EGR comes out. Now not all EGRs are that easy to come out but again depending on the amount of carbon they can be sticky. So as we can see here you'll notice this EGR quite a bit of carbon buildup on it. Now, when you look at this EGR, again, this just reflects what's in the EGR itself. Now, when you diagnose problems, obviously you're going to go ahead and clean that EGR and, again, go ahead and reinsert it, but what's in the intake manifold? So what you need to do, as we'll show you in the next shot here, is how does that intake look? Now, upon inspecting that intake, you're going to have to make a judgment call on how much carbon is too much carbon, but think about something here. If you have quite a bit of carbon in the intake, therefore you're only seeing what's in the hole, but what about the rest of the intake? So one of the many things that we argue both online and also within among technicians themselves is the fact that these trucks are prone to excessive carbon buildup, especially in prolonged idle periods. Sometimes that's the case, sometimes that's not the case. It all depends on fuels and how the vehicle is driven. But the bottom line is you need to understand that you're going to get carbon buildup on these intakes. It might be a routine job you might do on a monthly. For example, some of our fleets are cleaning these EGRs on a monthly basis. But again, they're also performing intake services.